welcome to today's video. Today's video is just gonna be a day in the life vlog out of the shower. You guys already saw I weighed myself. So I'll give a little bit of a physique update shortly because I'm checking in with my coach today. And I'm just gonna film what I eat today, kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna work out today, so I'm working out from home. So I'm gonna show you guys that. But first, I need to get some coffee. So let's go ahead and get that. So guys, my roommate's starting her workout program and stuff today. So I just took it this morning to kind of put all of our equipment and whatnot out in the living room. I kind of tried to tuck it away so you couldn't really see it. I don't know if we'll leave it out there or not, but I'll show you guys what I have now while we're waiting for this. So I have two 25 pound dumbbells. These ones are adjustable. So right now there's two and a half pounds on each side. I've also got the larger ones, which is five pounds. And I have another one there, a foam roller, resistance bands. And I had this band tied on here for like pulling movements, but that is all I have. That's what we're working with here at home. But I'm hoping to get some more heavier dumbbells, but this is kind of what we have right now. So I'm usually up and ready earlier than this, but this is what a typical morning looks like for me. So basically just having my greens, these are the Jack Factory Green Surge greens, and I have a black coffee here in my little thermos. I've also got lemon water. I mix some glutamine in with the greens too. So I basically just sit down and do computer work, so I answer any emails that I might have. I do some editing, some research on videos. So today is just pretty much editing and I'm um, planning out my workout for later as well as answering some client emails and starting some clients up. So I'll do that until like 9 or 10 depending on what my plan is for the rest of the day. I obviously am laid off from one job right now so I have more time to put into this stuff versus if I was working at the other job I'd have to get up earlier and do it quicker and get it all done. Today we're going to Costco and stuff too so I want to make sure I have my list and everything done for that before I get into the workout and get into my check-in. So I'm going to sit down and have my coffee then I'll check in with my coach so I'll show you guys my physique update once we get into that. I'm gonna bring Emily in a coffee too. Emily's starting her workout now, so um, we're just chilling around here, doing some work, hanging out. Got a little mat set up. If you guys think that Emily should start her own channel and document her process with all of this stuff, comment down below or send me a message and let me know because I personally think she should. Right, Emily? Get it, baby. Oh, no, everything that's going on right now is humiliating. So we're trying to find dumbbells because we need heavier ones. And we're on Facebook Marketplace and everything is so expensive. And maybe not for normies, but for us, $500 package. Thanks for the f deal, bro. The it's probably not even that bad, but honestly, like it's, oh, it's so expensive. I this one, it looks clean cut. I don't know. I like that too. How much is it? Two dollars a pound for each. Can you show us your shirt? <laughs> I'm trying to help you, and you're just making fun of me. Well, our home gym is looking a little tires out of my closet and like that. That's a good idea. Our okay. our home gym's looking a little um <laughs> vacant over there. <laughs> Costume. The guy who said that. Okay. Some guy advertised on Facebook. His gym picture, was it was still like open. my gym's still open. It's like the middle of the pandemic That's and where... everything shut down. And we're like, okay, so you're just asking. That's to, you're gonna get COVID. To get in trouble. Like, anyways, yeah. So we're on the hunt for some dumbbells. Maybe Costco would. Probably oh, not. Yeah. We'll check it out. We'll see. The place where you get things. I just heard something. That crack. was a click in my elbow. She's doing shoulder press. Oh See you in a little bit.
So posing is all done. Um, I sent my check-in to my coach, so we'll see if there's any adjustments. I'm not sure if there's gonna be this week, but yeah, I'm really happy with how things are looking and I haven't really decreased food at all yet, so it's super good. I am kind of getting hungry now. It is around 10.30, so I'm gonna make up some egg whites and an egg omelet and also some oatmeal, so I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. Same kind of breakfast that I usually do. And I already had my greens, I'm drinking my water and stuff now. I'm just gonna do some more computer work, then we'll get into a workout. I do feel a little bit dehydrated, so I'm gonna have some Hydro Surge. So I have it here with me. I've got the watermelon flavor right now. I think it's probably my favorite flavor. And yeah, so I'm gonna have some of this and breakfast and we'll see you guys in the next clip. So we're gonna have oats. So I have 45 grams of oats on my meal plan. So I'm gonna do quick oats. So what I do when I'm making my oats is I boil the kettle, I'll let the oats and the hot water sit for a few minutes. Then I put in my liquid egg whites, stir it up, and then I microwave for like two minutes and I stir it in between. And then I add some pink salt, some cinnamon, and that's pretty much it. If I need some more water, I'll add more water and nothing special, but that's how I like it. And then I usually just do the rest of my egg whites and a whole egg mixed up in a pan, kind of like omelet style and just salt and pepper. Nothing crazy with that either. Um, it's a good breakfast, honestly, leaves me feeling super full and I enjoy those foods, so I usually eat them anyway. So for me, having it on a meal plan isn't really a big deal to me. I also mix up some glutamine usually within my greens or sometimes I'll even put it in my oats if I have to. Just to make sure I get it in, it helps me a lot. So when I have everything kind of cooking up, I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'll show you guys what my vitamin stack looks like. But right now we're just gonna get everything into the pan and get it started. take my vitamins now so the first thing I'm taking is the Vita XT this is Jack Factory's women's multivitamin if you guys don't take a multivitamin definitely look into it it just helps to ensure that you're not deficient in anything in any areas it's hard to know unless you're getting your blood work done all the time or you're constantly monitoring what you're consuming so it's two capsules every single morning so I'm gonna have that now as well as I'm doing some Flex XT. So Flex XT is Jack Factory's joint support supplement. So it just helps with your overall bone health, cartilage health, mobility, and just regular joint support. Um, if you are someone who usually gets fatigued really easy, you find you're really stiff and sore, definitely try something like this out, as well as Omega-3s. They're super great with that stuff too. So I'm having Omegas as well. This is your fatty acids, guys. You need these every single day. I take them every single day. I take two in the morning and then two in the afternoon. So I'm gonna have two now, as well as some vitamin D. So this is just something that I take in addition to my other vitamins. I like to have additional vitamin D because here in the Maritimes especially, we don't get a lot of sunshine. It's brighter here in Nova Scotia than it was in Newfoundland, but where winter is coming, it's dark in the morning and it's dark in the evening, and I find it just overall affects my mood. So vitamin D comes in handy with that and your overall immunity. Everything that I'm taking here now, I find it super beneficial. You obviously can take whatever you would prefer, but those are my recommendations. I love them, it works great for me, especially because I'm training hard, so yeah, that is my vitamin stack. I'm gonna take those now and get to eating breakfast because it's 11 o'clock. This is usually around the time that I eat, 11 or 12, and I'm getting hungry. I got some work done. I actually made some TikToks too. I try to post there like every single day or a couple times a day, so follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. I feel like my sense of humor comes out a little bit more on TikTok, and obviously the more I'm in front of the camera, the more I feel like comfortable and whatnot, but I feel like I'm a super silly person and I have a pretty good sense of humor, I'd like to think, so go check out my TikTok, follow me there, as well as I've been posting some reels on Instagram too, just kind of trying to play around with some jokes and the apps themselves, so yeah, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok and comment on those videos that you think are funny you know if there's any that you think are funny I am gonna be making some lunch shortly however I'm gonna do my workout first but I do need to cook some stuff for lunch so I don't really want to like have to do my workout then cook and then be like waiting for my food it's 
almost 12 o'clock now so i'm gonna do the workout then i want to have my food ready to go so i know i already have chicken cooked but i don't have any veggies cooked so i'm gonna do some veggies in my air fryer i just have a giant bag from costco that way when i'm done i can just heat it all up together and then we'll be good to go this is the one that i have and that's what we're gonna be making so putting it in my air fryer probably like 15 minutes or so and then we will talk about pre-workout for today's workout we're gonna be doing shoulders and biceps so what I'm going to be doing is just like delts in general and then um, some bicep workouts at the end. I'm going to incorporate some dumbbells as I go along. However, what I'll probably show you guys is just me using the bands because I think that it's probably the most convenient thing that people can get their hands on right now when they're working out from home. So I'll try to keep my workouts kind of band related or body weight related for here at home. And if you want to incorporate dumbbells or heavier weights, if you have them, go ahead and do that because when I continue to do the workout myself, I will likely do that. I will likely add in dumbbells when I'm doing curls. I will likely add in dumbbells when I'm doing rows um, or whatever it is, shoulder press, whatever I'm doing. I'll probably use the band for one to two sets. And then I'll use the dumbbells if I want to burn out with the band at the end, then I'll do that too. So those are all just some suggestions for working out at home, but use what you have available. If you guys have book bags at home and you can add weight to those, definitely do that. I know Emily has tires in her closet. She mentioned that earlier. You can take things like that out, like literally just get creative. You have large cans, whatever it is you can add to things to make it heavier or to just push yourself a little bit more, then do that. I like to keep things in a higher rep range. So I'm going from like 15 to 20 reps, depending on what I'm doing here now. Once I add the dumbbells in, depending on how I find it, I'll probably do like eight to 12 reps, kind of like my usual. If you guys try this workout out, workout out. If you guys try out this workout, let me know. Tag me in your posts, tag me in your stories, whatever you guys do, if you try it, I wanna know and I wanna know your feedback or if you're able to incorporate anything or if I showed you something that you weren't sure about or you didn't know about before. So I'm going to be adding this workout to my playlist. So I have playlists created now for you guys to make it a little bit easier depending on what it is you're interested in watching from me. So I'm gonna have a lower calorie recipe playlist. I'm gonna have a workout playlist. So I'll have home and in gym workouts there as well as just like fitness chats and try-ons and all that. So check that out on my channel. Subscribe so you guys don't miss anything. And we're gonna go in with some Nitro Surge and Pump Surge now. So but we're doing the Nitro Surge and the Blue Rat raspberry flavor i personally love this pre-workout because i don't know i just i'm so focused on my workout i'm so energetic and i don't have a huge crash afterwards which is great that's kind of where the pump surge comes in too i like to do a combo because pump surge actually has nootropics in it so with nootropics all they're going to do is help you with your cognitive function it's obviously non-stim i used to actually drink nootropic um supplements when i was studying because it would help me with my focus but i also didn't get that anxiety piece that i would from coffee or caffeine especially super late at night so if i'm working on the evenings you guys will notice i'm probably just doing a pump surge scoop and i'm not doing the nitro surge as well because the caffeine but today i'm doing both and i just find it overall gives me that super great focus and intensity that i need especially when working out at home but we're gonna go in with two scoops now we're gonna dry scoop them because apparently i don't do it any other way anymore so I honestly do like drinking pump surge because it just tastes so good. But I feel like I've started this dry scoop thing and I have to just keep doing it now. I like to dry scoop my actual pre-workout personally. I don't like to sip on it, so I'm just doing it with both lately. But maybe I'll start drinking pump surge and just dry scooping nitro. We'll see.
you guys enjoyed that workout. It was definitely like a good shoulder workout, especially doing the combo with the weights and the bands. So if you have both, I highly recommend doing both. Some resistance is really great, especially when you're away from cables and machines, if that's what you're used to using. Just stay motivated, guys. Get into it, get it done. You can still reach your goals from home. You can still make progress from home. So anyways, my sister's on the way over now, so I'm gonna quickly get changed. We are going shopping, so I'll take you guys along with us. I think she's gonna try to get something to eat out. I, however, am gonna eat before we leave, and I'm gonna have a coffee while we're out, as well as I'll probably take my post-workout meal, which is oats and protein powder with me eat that in the car or something and just try to stay you know busy while we're out we're going to be doing some shopping we're going to be going to costco i don't want to be hungry for those things so always stay prepared guys you just have to be a little bit organized and things will be good i'll see you guys once i get lunch all heated up i'm laughing i'm literally like i'm gonna put some normal people clothes on and i'm wearing a crew neck but i put jeans on so yeah you guys can see they're actually so i bought these jeans i put them on my zara try on um, I bought them this summer, or a little bit after the summer, and they're honestly, like, too big for me now. So, that's a good thing, I guess. I mean, I like them still. They're, they're mom jeans, but they fit me, like, super tight when I originally bought them. Um, but, yeah, now they're, like, perfect. A little bit big in the waist, but they still fit fine. Anyways, this is the outfit. Looking a little homeless. Just how we like it. So, I'm going to eat now. My sister is at the restaurant that she was working at. She also got laid off. Twins. But she's there, like, helping them with takeout or ordering takeout or doing something. I'm not sure. So I'm going to pick her up there once I get this all situated. So I have those veggies I made earlier all ready to go. And I'm just going to heat up the chicken and sweet potato. And then we're going to eat. I'm going to boil the kettle now for my oats to take with me. Because I feel like we're going to be gone for a couple hours. And I don't want to get hangry on her. I know coffee will tie me over but it's better for me to just be safe. Okay, so I eat everything out of a bowl pretty much. I don't know why, it's my preference. So I have everything kind of put into this bowl. I'm gonna warm this up really quickly and then we're gonna eat and then we're gonna make some oatmeal and then we're gonna get my sister because she's been waiting for a bit and she's gonna probably kick my ass, so. <laughs> Jacked Factory Vanilla Iso. It's vanilla ice cream, I think. Um, I prefer the chocolate peanut butter in my oats and vanilla for other things, but my chocolate peanut butter protein is on the way. I don't have any left right now, so I'm gonna go in with this. I'll probably add a little bit of cinnamon with it. And just a scoop of this, mix in with that. I'm gonna put the cover on, it'll sit, the oats will grow, and that'll be my snack when we're out and about. So I'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> so we're on the way to the mall. shopping done because we're sending some gifts home tomorrow in the event that we don't get to go home which we don't think we're gonna so yeah this one i feel like i've just accepted <laughs> she has one job just to make sure the camera doesn't fall out uh, i've accepted that we are not going home but yeah i don't think we're gonna get home which kind of sucks but i kind of am okay with it now i mean usually when i'm home i'm most excited for you to come yeah and i feel like it's not my first to go left here um is that it's not my first um, Christmas away from home, so. Uh, so we have to get some Christmas gifts, and we have to go to Costco. I have like a little list of stuff I have to get, so whatever I don't get at Costco, I'll probably just get at a grocery store. Um, and, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. So, um, I know I just got my do-backs from work, so I'm like, oh, she's cash. I'm like, uh, she should probably check her credit cards. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we'll just, we'll get, we'll talk to you guys when we get it in the mall. I don't even know if you can hear us, but we're getting some food for her now. She's a little hungry. I have oats in the car, which I'll have when we get in the car, and coffee. Oh. Guys, so we um, ended up getting some food for her, which ended up on her sweater. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone's a terrible driver. This is a Ritzia. Ritzia. Can you stop cursing on the channel? This is a PG channel, everybody. Do we eat it? No. If you guys know where I should buy a camera holder for my, can you? <laughs> a camera holder.
holder for my car and I don't know which one to get. So, because it keeps sliding around, obviously, as you know, if you're watching these. Yeah, because you're driving. I feel like you're making just throwing noodles out the window. And you're like, this is my Ritzy sweater that has general time. <laughs> so we ended up getting some Christmas gifts that we needed. We still didn't really get everything, but we're, you know, we're probably just gonna have to send some stuff home. It is what it is. I didn't eat. She got pad thai. Pad time. Thai express pad time. or something. I'm gonna eat my oats in the car because if I go into Costco, I think I'll get a little bit irritable just because I haven't eaten in a while. I did take some extra Hydra Surge with me. She likes the watermelon. I like the watermelon, so put it in here for us. And yeah, I'll show you guys around in Costco a little don't, bit. And you don't make this light because you're vlogging. I'll freak out. Go! <laughs> Sorry. Mm, thick. <laughs> So we are home from Costco. I'm slightly winded <laughs> from the stairs. So I got some Greek yogurt. This is for my roommate and recipes that I'm gonna be doing. I also got more extra lean ground turkey because we both, like Emily and I both use it. She loves pomegranate, so I bought her some more. It's also a really good fruit, guys. It's super low calorie, super tasty. They're just kind of hard to cut up and kind of expensive. But I bought her those at Costco. We have some chicken breasts. What else do we get? We have broccoli, my sister's turkey bacon, four things of egg whites, eggs, and there's more stuff in the car. So I left some stuff in the car because we didn't have a bag. So I just got sweet potato. I got popcorners for Emily. Um, she does little Brookside chocolate covered fruit things for snack for her. She's tracking her macros and stuff now. However, she's still kind of like playing around with calories and whatnot. So she's eating that kind of stuff. And what else do we get? Anything else? Five or one bars, I think. Some sort of snack for her. Some so, spices. spices, yeah, I got some taco seasoning because I was buying the little packs and it's definitely cheaper to do it at Costco. So, yeah, we're just gonna chill out here now. Um, wait for my roommate to get home, put this stuff away. All right, so here is supper number one, we'll call it, because I do have to eat again very shortly. I've got everything I kind of need here ready to make the cheesecake bites for you guys. So I'm doing cookies and cream and then Oreo base. They're gonna be very similar, if not the exact same ingredients, but just made a bit differently. But I'm gonna eat this first, and then we will get into baking. When it comes to baking and anything really, when you're using a recipe from somebody else, if you guys do use any different ingredients, just try to make sure that you make any adjustments that you need when it comes to ingredients used. But if you're following this recipe, I'll put everything up on the screen for you guys. Um, the macros at the end and all of that. So what I'm gonna do again is just kind of like plug it in to my app myself and then show you guys on the screen as I'm kind of mixing things up, how much of everything that I'm using as well as what the calories and macros are for that. So I'm assuming it's gonna be anywhere from like 75 to 90 calories depending. Super great alternative guys to a treat. If you guys are a cheesecake people like me, this used to get me through when I was tracking macros, having a little dessert after supper, things like that. Don't be restrictive, get creative. That's the whole point in all of this. You wanna make sure it's maintainable and that's kind of what I preach, especially to my clients. So try this recipe out. If you guys try it out, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it and then hopefully my roommate and my sister will try them out for us.
I'm gonna have some almonds. That's pretty much gonna be it for me for tonight. I think we're just gonna chill out. I don't have much else to do. Emily's peeling some pomegranates or whatever. Do you call it carving or peeling it? Peeling. I guess it has Peeling. And uh, my sister's here as well, just chilling. So they're gonna try the cheesecake bites. So we did the cookies and cream and the Oreo base. She's had them before. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. She's putting on a show. <laughs> show. It's not recording video. No, it is. <laughs> like they were, I was, they were like, <laughs> like no, like you're not that close. It's not gonna focus. <laughs> I will try two. I'll try one. <laughs> okay, I'll try one. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Mm. Good idea. It's good though. More final reveal. Delicious and I'm not eight lying. out of ten. Yeah. You're not lying. Not lying. Way better than the. I for blocked out what those were. <laughs> the brownies. The brownies. The black were bean brownies. Horrifying. <laughs> These uh, heaven on earth compared to that. Yeah, I, I actually I'm enjoying it. Really good. That's a good dessert to have. Like I'll mm -hmm. put them in the freezer. I know. I feel good after having like half and half. I'm like I can texture I like the macros. I like the crunch. Mhm. Mm the bottom makes you feel like you're having an Oreo. I love Oreos. Me too. All right. Well, you guys heard it firsthand from the ladies. Don't get too close. Okay. What do you say, guys? Ciao, Cheers, losers. Mom. Ring the bell and beat the drum. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.